Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today we're off to Sardegna Windmills for another of the World Circuit races. This one's going to be in Europe. Before we do that, I'm going to head up to the options though and just make sure that we've got our race difficulty set to hard. We have, so we're good. Let's come out of there. We'll go back to the world map and then we'll pick up Sardegna Windmills and this is going to be the Jimny Cup. We've done all of the others, or the other two. This is going to be an off-roader, so we're going to need the dirt tyres on this vehicle. Now, I've got two Jimnys. I've got one that I've done some work to and a bulk standard one. The bulk standard one is never going to work. So the one I'm using, I'm going to change this one to dirt tyres. The one I'm using has got quite a bit of work done on it. The suspension is pretty much stock. I don't think I've changed anything in there. And the differential is also stock. I haven't played around with that. The ECU is 100, ballast 100, power restrictor is also 100, and I've left the transmission and nitrous alone. Haven't done anything with that. Then the changes, I've got a low RPM turbocharger on with the anti-lag system. That's set to off for the moment. I've got the intercooler is racing. Air cleaner, silencer and exhaust manifold are all racing. I've got my carbon brakes that I like with the racing brake pads. And I have got a brake controller on this just in case. The other modification is the clutch and flywheel is also set to racing. So those are pretty much all of my standard car upgrades that I like to do to my vehicles. And we should be able to get this through to the end of this race in first place fairly easy. So this is a Jimny Cup, so Degnan Wheel moves reverse. Number of laps two to get this to the front of the pack. So the first thing I'm going to do is just check that the brake balance is OK. I've just uh, got that one in the middle. I'm not going to do anything with any of the other settings. I'm just putting the radar on just so I can get an idea of where the vehicles are. I am on dirt and I'm almost definitely likely to hit people. So whilst I'm not going all out to hit people, I'm probably not going to get a clean race in this one. Dirt races are not my forte. I always struggle with these, but this Jimny is surprisingly easy to drive on the dirt as it was in the snow when we did that one. So quite forgiving and it's quite easy just to run your car up the inside of some of these vehicles. Just got into the back of the white one there a little bit uh, as I was going across the back of it. Uh, but as long as, well, when I'm racing this, I just stayed out to one side of all of the vehicles, picking up a slipstream when needed but primarily going into the corners, just staying to one side of the vehicles that I am overtaking. Again, just got into the back of the dark green one there. As with normal dirt track racing, I am turning very early, just letting the uh, back end of this vehicle come around a little bit. It doesn't come around too much, so you can be actually be quite aggressive with the steering wheel. You can see there the little red dot above the, um, the speedo and the gear indicator going from left to right quite aggressively through that little section and that's got us up into third place already and what are we just coming up to finish the first lap we're going to overtake the second place the white one on the right hand side can we get through and catch the first place car as we start the second lap not quite He's a little bit quicker than most. This vehicle jumps quite nicely over all of the little jumps in this race. What I would say, as I always do with off-roading, just make sure that your vehicle is straight as you go over a drum, jump. Try not to have the car at an angle because you will land awkwardly. Very often a wheel would dig in and you could be in problems. Um, just got it a little bit untidy through there, but just gathered that up and we are quite comfortably in first place at the moment. 0.3 of a second ahead of the silver one behind. He's slipstreaming and gaining on us at the moment, so we'll just continue to keep our line, but the uh, orange one is coming back, so we've got a bit of a race going on behind us. And as we just come into this right-hander again, just turning nice and easy, letting the back of, that car, uh, back of the car come round. Just catch it when we want to go straight on the power again, and I'll leave you to pause and rewind this video to look at the gears that I'm using. But very, very often I found that fourth gear was one of the sweet spots for this. 
There was no real need to change down to third or second through any of these corners except for the really tight ones. For most of them, I just chose fourth gear. The car was really settled, really, really easy to drive going up to fifth gear when we are in a straight line. Even now as we go over the top here, I'm just keeping it straight for when we land, still in fourth gear. Really, I think you could probably do this whole race in fourth gear if you are that way inclined. It's very, very easy to do. As we come across the line, that is first place. Pretty much did that first time out. Um, unlike some of the other off-roaders where I've really struggled, this one was very, very easy. With that particular car, that particular setup, and just sticking, as I said, to fourth gear primarily through a lot of the corners is the way to go. So that is the Jimny Cup. I've got my three stamps in my book now. So we did Lake Louise, Sardegna, and uh, the other race there. So all very, very easy in the Jimny. Nothing too exciting at all. I did try on the hard settings with a stock car, but I did need to upgrade it a little bit just to give you the edge and to be able to get you through the traffic. So just to finish this one off with all three of the stamps, let's go and have a look and see what Luca's got to say and see what gift we get. So we get a four star ticket for this one. So if we come out of the menu books, we'll head across to the garage and we'll go and see what goodies we get for our hard work. As I said, that was a very, very easy three races to do in this vehicle. So I'm not expecting great things and we've got parts in this one you just know we're always going to get the parts oh we actually get a car very very nice we come away with the re um armenia which is uh it's a pretty nice car right actually that one i did do uh, an upgrade and an engine swap in one of those at one point um, but quite a nice little car so that was well worth doing that menu book not only to get the stamps and complete the game a little bit more but we've got ourselves a nice car into the bargain. So I'm really, really pleased with that. So anyway, this was how I completed this menu book with the Jimny Cup at Sardegna Windmills. Very, very easy. Just make sure that you upgrade your vehicle. You don't have to go too mad. You don't have to spend an absolute fortune. Um, I just did my usual mods that I like to do on my cars and it made it a very easy win. Just trying to get through the traffic as quickly as you can. I did get up into third, second place at the very end of the first lap. So in hindsight, I didn't really need to push through the traffic quite as much as I did. I could have actually taken a lot easier and probably gone for a clean race. However, I know that my skills on the dirt aren't great and I always get it sideways, clobber a barrier or clobber another car. Uh, but this has got to be one of the easiest, lovely jump there, one of the easiest dirt races that I've had to do for a long time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, please subscribe. If you're a current subscriber, thank you for continuing to support my channel. And I look forward to seeing you on another video coming very, very soon. For now, take care. Bye bye.